the helix. In the curve menu, we can find the helix down here. And in our toolbar, we can find it right there. So, let's take a look at a very simple helix. We first to find the start and end of the axis. I'm going to use the grid snap to go from here to there. And there is our beginning of the helix. Now if we take our attention to the command line, that is where we can change the mode. And depending on the mode that we choose, we can either change the turns or the pitch. So right now I'm going to change turns to 2. Notice that the helix is only going around twice. Change it to 6, and it goes around 6 times. So you can choose how you want the helix to end. And then you pick the radius and ending point. I can also change the mode to pitch. Now I can change the pitch, for example, to 1.5. And there I'm inputting the pitch instead of the number of turns. So depending on the situation, you can choose turns or the pitch for your helix. Let's see the vertical option. So here in perspective, I want to do a helix vertical to the construction plane. So I can start there, go up vertical from the construction plane defining the axis and now I can go to the command line and change all the options change to turns make it four turns and then we can define the radius and the starting point and there we have a vertical helix A round curve. The helix also has an option to be placed around the curve rather than a straight axis. So I'm drawing here a uh, just a, uh, a freeform curve. I use the interpolate point curve to just throw a curve in there. And now I'm going to click on helix and then choose the around curve option on the command line. Now I can select the curve. And as you can see, the helix is now wrapping around that curve. But it only has four turns, so it kind of looks like a twisted wire. So let's just change that to like 200 and see what happens. There we go. Let's take off some of these options so that we can freeform, freehand the, the, the radius. Take off the grid snap. There we go. And there's our helix curve you know, coiling around that one original curve that I created.